Hey folks, it's Rick. We're going to do another very, very careful review of another Firefly. This one's got some new GFS pickups in it. Here is a Firefly Les Paul type guitar. Not only did uh, Skippy over at PGH Live Jams lend me this guitar in the supreme act of kindness again, um, he also sent along with it a pair of these pickups, these uh, GFS, and these are Big Mouths. GFS Big Mouths. He sent along a pair of those and asked that I install them and promise not to look too closely at my soldering. And he asked me to give it any other general maintenance it might need, which it needed a little bit, but not as much as previous uh, Fireflies, I'll say. Um, this one's doing really well. As a matter of fact, I'd say this one came in better shape than the last IV guitar, IYV guitar. <laughs> Machines are basic, honestly. Um, they're Grover clones, and they feel pretty close. I'm sure they're not as good, but they they work really well. I, I wouldn't take them off unless you had something nicer on hand. I wouldn't put too much money there. Those are fine. Uh, the nut is good. I didn't have to do much to the nut at all. A little bit. A couple of the strings might have been a hair high. A is just as in tune as the G is. Haha, <laughs> that's a nice way to say it. The binding's really nice on the neck. The frets, there was no fret sprout. Um, but a couple of them were high. They're not anymore. switch with the poker chip thing there's the GFS pickups which we'll talk about there is a regular pick guard it still has a plastic on it two volumes and two tones tailpiece is good the problem that I have with these Firefly guitars is always this bridge because when there's no string on it this saddle tends to wiggle around and honestly I think that should be a little tighter in there so uh, if you're watching Firefly that should be a little tighter I think <laughs> I think that these pickups were a good improvement on the stock pickups that came in it. Uh, they're a little bit hotter, but they have a very nice full body tone. Like I can hear good low ends in them. And especially, I think the bridge really sounds beautiful. There's that. 
put extra reverb on it. If we put a little drive on it, we could do kind of the same thing. Neck. That's nice. drive from the Hermita Dover drive. That was the neck. There's the middle. Ask me why I'm playing an A flat. Okay, here's the bridge. a clap the knee tone. comment from a guy named Phil Rowe. Uh, it was a very nice comment. He says, it is very interesting to look at these somewhat older reviews. This was uh, back on the first Firefly that I did. He says, it appears that Firefly is watching all of these and taking the negative comments into account. While they certainly are not perfect by any means, a lot of the negatives appear to have been addressed. They are now wax potting the pickups and they are far less microphonic than before. Fit and finish has improved. The frets are smoother. The intonation on all the new ones comes in more or less dead on. Okay, so some of those things I think are right and some are wrong. These are the pickups that I took out of it. These are not wax potted. I see no evidence of wax potting on these pickups at all. But 
Having said that, they weren't microphonic either. I would say the intonation, yes, was on. I would say the fit and finish has improved for sure, at least 60%, if not a whole lot more. And also, when I took these out, that's not a maple cap. That's a maple veneer. You can see it over mahogany. I believe it's mahogany. It might be something else. It's a real light guitar. I mean, it's about seven and a half pounds. Oh, here's the back side of the pickup. Which does Phil also makes the point that they haven't raised the price. And that's true. This one was 149 And it's a great deal for that much. And so he says, these review videos do make a difference. Now, I never thought about it. And I never thought, like, do these make a difference? I've always thought, well, if people watch it, that's great. If they don't, that's fine. But a lot of people have watched these uh, very, very careful reviews. This is 4,500 views, This uh, the first video of my, my first Firefly video. This is my fourth one. So somebody's watching them, and that's good. If you're from the Firefly company, send me more, and I will do more videos of them. Here's the back. is great on this guitar it was hundred and forty nine dollars folks it sounds really good it's real light it's about seven pounds well, because it doesn't have a maple cap I like it especially that bridge pickup boy does it sound beautiful I know that hey folks thanks for watching thanks to skippy uh that was his jam track also which is called pain and retribution or something oh the storm hath cometh by skippy uh it was a very uh creative jam track i was happy to play over it so and i hope you're doing well uh, you and your families. So peace to all of you. Later on.